Hello everybody, welcome to my video. Uh, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new project using Octopus Deploy's latest feature called Configuration as Code. So on screen we have Octopus Deploy. Um, from here, uh, to add a new project, you would select Projects, select Add Project, and then as you can see on screen, what we do have is uh, a mini window that pops up and it asks you to add a new project. You're going to have to input a name for your project. And then from here, there's an option here to use the version control for this project. It's perfectly valid not to use version control for your projects as you can convert them. And that we will cover that in another video. In this instance, I am going to use the option to use version control for this project. So I'm going to select save. As you can see, there are some options here. You have a URL. You have to specify the default branch. And then lastly, there are some authentication options and then where you should store your video. So as you can see, this is a .octopus. So we have one that we already have. Uh, this is just a, a demo for you. So I'm going to select the, the get URL. From here, I'm going to paste the URL in. There we go. So again, you can change, so you can switch to different branches. Um, in this instance, we are using the main branch. And then there's an authentication option. You can use username and password. Uh, in this instance, I do have a service account. I would check this under library. Um, what we do have is the ability to use uh, shared uh, Git authentication models there. And then down here, you have an option to uh, store it in a Git file storage directory. By default, everything will be stored in the .octopus folder. And this is not something that you can configure. So in this instance, I am just going to leave this blank. I'm going to select test. As you can see, the version control settings have verified successfully. I'm going to select configure. At this point, it will give you the option to it will give you the option to specify a summary and an optional description. In this session instance, I am going to select initial commit. Select commit. At this point, we're going to come over to our repository and refresh it. And as you can see, we have the .octopus folder. Three files are generally created. You have your deployment process, your deployment settings, and the schema version. For the most part, you'll want to look at the deployment process, and this is using .ocl file. If you do want to find out more about OCL, I would recommend checking out our documentation. As you can see, the deployment process is blank, and that is because if you come back into the project, the deployment process is also blank. So if you select Add Step, in this instance, I am just going to demo a single step. So I'm going to select run a script. I'm just going to change the name to run a test script. I'm going to select to run once on a worker. And then lastly, I am going to write PowerShell write host. We are testing config as code. So as you can see, we have uh, the PowerShell line. The rest of everything I'm just going to leave uh, with the default settings. You can add another step. So you, you can add or change multiple steps. Uh, in this instance, uh, there is an option here to commit, or there is also an option to do a quick commit. In this instance, I am just going to select commit as I want to do this. I'm going to add a PowerShell script. So there's two options here. You can commit it directly to the main branch or commit it to a new branch. I'm going to call this commit to a new branch. And this one thing is if you are using this, you will need to give your service account the ability to create branches inside your Git repository. So in this instance, I'm going to call this PowerShell script. Select commit. At this point, what you will see is what we should see is if we come over the deployment process will, will still be blank. Or here, if you switch it to the PowerShell script, you can see here that you have your step name and then your action, which is uh, specifies an action type of octopus.script. And then there you go, you have our PowerShell script where we are testing config as code. In this instance, what you'll now want to do is come over to your pull request 
So again, you can test things and update it in the Octopus UI. In this instance, I am going to use Git as a way to uh, approve. So I'm going to select create pull request. As you can see here, it's just yeah, I'm selecting to merge. I've then from here, I selected merge and then I'm cleaning up after myself. And then as we, what we should see is in the main line, uh, we should see, there we go. So as you can see, you've used Git and, and uh, pull requests to merge your changes into a newly created Octopus Deploy project. Please do check out our YouTube channel for other videos. Thanks and goodbye.